Hey everyone, welcome to the Curious Girl Diaries podcast. I'm Layla London, aka The Curious Girl. Now just to let you know, this podcast is not suitable for work. It's also not suitable for anybody under 18. But the rest of you consenting adults, let's get ready to talk about my sex life, sex in general, and everything in between in explicit, raunchy, fun detail. All right, here we go. All right, so I wanted to do an update to my sex bucket list because it's been a while and I've been on this sexual road trip for a while and I have scratched some things off, so it's time to kind of update that, I think. So let's see, I still have to do some threesomes, the male, female, female. Yeah, no, wait. <laughs> wait a I need to do the male, female, male, right? And then the female, male, female. There we go. Okay. Both of those I have not quite put together. I have some options on both of those. Um, It's, I'm trying, I don't know, it just, it has to be the right, either I'm just going to go for it and it doesn't, and it won't, you know, I'm not going to worry about whether it's the right combination or I'm kind of stuck on having it be the right combination. I really want, you know, the first time I do it because it could be the only time I do it. Let's face it. You know, I don't know that I'm going to, do it again, you know, or <clears throat> like it, who knows? So I just want to make sure that, you know, I, I, the first time is as well planned as it can be for me, for, you know, just so that I, I, I just get the most enjoyment out of it. I mean, um, and so I'm having a hard time, you know, putting all that together, but I do have options for that. And, you know, at this point I better get going on it. Cause you know, I'm looking, I, st- I really started to think about, you know, just as I would with anything, because again, goal oriented, right? So I look at, okay, where am I at in my year versus my goals and what I said I would do. And so I have some things crossed off, but kind of not as much as I wanted to. So as far as achievement level goes, I feel like I'm a little bit of an underachiever <laughs> and I don't like that. Like that really bothers me. So I better, um, I better hit the bricks here. Um, the second thing that I, on my previous bucket list that I had wanted to do was to be dominated. I would say I could scratch that off the list. Uh, I'd like to continue with that and keep exploring that. That's something that, you know, that's something that's been way more impactful than I thought. I mean, it's, and it's led to other things. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about that too with the, what, I'm going to add some things or I'm, t- we're crossing some things off, but because of certain things and experiencing certain things then I've, you know, I've, more things have come to me or come to my attention or, um, as I've kind of gone down the rabbit hole, so to speak, you know, I get more interested in doing various things I never thought of before. So I would say I will scratch the number two, my previous number two, um, you know, off the list, but I'm definitely looking to keep, uh, that, keep that, you know, in part of my, as part of, in part of my sexual repertoire. I mean, that's, very fun to do. Okay. I ha- have, I dominated anybody? Not really. I mean, um, no, I mean, where there's just a whole session of like, Hey, this is what's going to go down. And, uh, no, um, it's funny because it's a little counterintuitive to obviously I like, you know, tall, well-built guys that are much bigger than me. And, physically imposing, you know, if they wanted to be. And, um, so the funny thing is, is that by just the, by my general, what I attract or what I'm, you know, going after those don't tend to be the kind of guys. Usually there's a couple in there, but you know, usually those don't tend to be the kind of guys that say, you know, that want you to kind of take over. Um, and, you know, I, I have to, I, I, I think I have, you know, I think I've got some prospects there. I've right? got a couple guys in mind, um, a couple fun partners in mind, but that would do that. But, um, I just haven't, you know, I haven't really, I've talked about it, you know, with a couple people, I just haven't really pushed it. So, um, I think it's time to kind of get that, you know, get that going. Um, and it sort of goes along with that. Let me edge you fantasy that I wrote on the blog. You know that, I mean, that to me is just hot. You know, there's like certain things that, you know, you can do and you can be in control. And it's not that you're, um, 
totally turning some guy into a sissy. That's not, that's not attractive to me. I'm not into that kind of thing, but, um, definitely, you know, getting in there, taking control and having him be totally dependent on me for, you know, whether or not I give him permission to come, whether or not I make him come. I think that's hot. I really fucking do. I love that. So, and it's kind of the same thing too with, you know, the, the next thing that I haven't done yet, which again, I, I need to kind of focus on this one. This one sort of faded into the background. That was having, having someone, you know, that I like watch me have sex with someone else. Um, I, that can be done, but, um, I, I mean, it's, it's still on my hot button list, but it's not quite as hot as I don't know. There's something right now that's not, it's just not, that's not at the top of my list, but I still want to do it. I I definitely still want to do that. And I think, you know what, I think I can probably, what I'd probably be able to do is set that up with, if I do the, the male, female, male, I could probably then do a round two with, with that scenario with those guys. Um, that would probably be, you know, the, the thing to do. Um, and then I haven't been to a sex party, but, um, I don't know. Those are kind of, I think those are, yeah, those are readily available. So I still, but I still need to go. You know, it's interesting because a good friend of mine is, we've been talking a lot about sex parties and, you know, he's been telling me that a lot of the, you know, kind of big group parties and stuff like that. Like there's, he said there's, and he's from Southern California, but he's just like, there's a lot of really good looking women. And then the men are not good looking. So it'll be a lot of, uh, you know, trophy wives with their husbands who, this is how he puts it. I have no idea if it's true. The trophy wives are the husbands who can't get it up anymore. And so, you know, they're just kind of like there because, you know, they want to keep her happy and, um, you know, but there's not like he was saying for me and he said, you've got to try try to find something, maybe a little more uh, smaller, a smaller venue or something smaller where they're kind of like handpicking the couples and the people that go so that everybody's kind of good looking. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but I, I, I did think that that, you know, I could see that how that might be the case with the larger parties and either way, um, you know, I'm just going to have to pick one and, you know, grab a, grab one of the guys and go. And that'll be, I'm sure, um, I'm sure it'll be fun anyway. I mean, worst case scenario is, you know, you just fuck in a corner. (laughs) Right. Just, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what I always kind of imagine, you know, like you go and if other people were having sex, you, you know, you could watch and get really turned on and, you know, go with someone that you're super attracted to and bang it out, you know, let, uh, get all hot and bothered and, um, you know, get it on. And then that, that would certainly wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if other people were watching. I I don't care. So, um, so yeah, I still need to do that. <clears throat> I still haven't done my, my, my interracial, my BBC. I'm still looking for BBC. I did find this one guy. Um, I found him quite interesting, really attractive. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, but a younger guy and, um, about six, seven, just built like fucking nobody's business. Oh my God. Um, and our, we can't seem to get our schedules to line up and, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I don't know. I I don't know if they're going to line up. He's got, we, I mean, we have kind of completely opposite hours, but I would really like love to have an encounter with him and just test out, test those waters. (laughs) See what, see what all the fuss is all about. So I, I do still need to do that. Then the number seven, I think on my list prior was squirting. And as we all know, yay, um, that's been done. Although I still can't do it to myself and I still haven't found anybody else other than Cowboy Ann that can do it to me. Um, I'm sure I'll come across, you know, somebody that can, or work, you know, work with one of the other guys and they'll be able to do it. Um, it's interesting. Um, what, and I don't have this up yet. I swear to God, I'll get this up. Keen, when I had my encounter with quinoa, he was kind of trying to do that. And 
it was funny because it was like, okay, now try this. And he, you know, bless his heart. He's trying to do it. He doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know. I don't know. You know, it's like the freaking blind lady in the blind here. It was kind of funny because, you know, I'm like, okay, no, try this. And he's like, like this, you know, and he's trying it. I'm like, no, no, no. Okay, well, no, no. More like this, you know. <laughs> anyway, we we're just like a bunch of kindergartners, you know, like play, you know, kissing, but not really knowing what we're doing on the playground. I mean, it was ridiculous. So anyway, um, it was, it was just kind of more, more funny and cute than it was anything else. But, um, yeah, that didn't, you know, it didn't work. I try to pay attention, you know, when it's being done, like what it is. But again, I think, yeah, I'm just going to have to, I think just practice it with someone else and, it's kind of not, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's one of those things. It's not, doesn't feel super great if you don't know what you're doing. It's kind of like, oh, okay. No, oh, uh, no, that's not it. Um, you know, it's not really something you want to just get in there and jack around with. I mean, but unfortunately I think that's probably going to have to be the case. So I'll have to get like super, super turned on, be super relaxed and then super lubed up and, um, you know, and then just start the start the squirting school. <laughs> see, see if I can get any graduates. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and then the last thing was the, oh, the G spot orgasms. You know, I don't know. This may be a pipe dream for me. I have no idea. I've, you know, it's been a long time since I've had one and I, they've always been easier to do if I am, you know, like using my finger or a dildo. Um, they're not super easy to do anyway, but you need something really kind of stiff. I do anyway. And, um, so that's why usually a penis doesn't work. Um, no, not that they have not, I'm not saying that it hasn't. It's just, you know, when it does, it's more like, you know, the squirting, like, Hey, whoa, whoa, what just happened there? You know, like <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I, we'll see, you know, well, well, I don't know. That's probably the least, that's probably the least f amount. That's probably getting the least amount of focus, um, right now on the list. Um, then I've added a couple things. I added one thing that I've already crossed off, but I've added a couple things. Um, so one is I have out of, I think it's out of all the dominations, you know, or all the, all the stuff I've been doing with cowboy and stuff like that. That's kind of opening some doors for me, just leading to different things. But I mentioned it before. One of the things that's kind of come up and sprang up is a rape fantasy. Now it's interesting because if I mention this to other people, people have a weird reaction to that. Obviously this is a fantasy. It's a consensual, um, you know, act that is spoken about and sort of, sort of, you know, I mean, there's obviously boundaries and rules to it. Um, you know, and you have to do it with somebody you trust. You have to set some, you know, parameters. Um, but, you know, I'm not surprised that that would turn me on or that that does turn me on or that I've come to want to have that. Um, you know, especially with what I put up the other day, just about how, you know, can I be submissive? I think sometimes, you know, I tend to just be one of those people. Sometimes you have to kind of drag me there kicking and screaming, you know, literally and figuratively, um, because I can be so stubborn and, you know, the other side of this too is I, I, obviously I love bigger guys. I love guys that are, you know, could, could overpower me and can overpower me. And they're, that's part of what turns me on. Now I've never ha actually had somebody like where we actually played that out, but, um, doing that is absolutely right now a big turn on to me. And, you know, where I, yeah, where somebody's just like the, you know, I, I'm saying I don't want this to happen, and someone's saying yes, this is happening, and they're gonna force it to happen. They're gonna force me. Um, 
yeah, I'm totally, I'm turned on by that right now. But again, that, you know, I just want to say like, does, does that mean I want somebody to attack me on the street? No, 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 nothing like that. It's, um, you know, it's just a, it's, it's a consensual role play and I think it's hot and I totally want to do it. So it's on, it's on my list. Um, I don't, whether or not that happens, I don't know if that one's, I don't, I don't know if that one's going to happen. That, that has to be, um, that's a little tricky. You know, it has to really be, it's what has to be well thought out and, and, you know, with the right person. So I'd love to do it, but, uh, it's there, it's alive in me. I don't know that it'll happen. Um, international sex. I would, I really want to go, I get a lot of guys, um, you know, just that contact me from different countries and I would totally love to, you know, I got a passport, (laughs) go to another country, meet up with some guy, you know, have sex for a couple of days and then, you know, see, see ya, you know, just have a really fun time and, you know, have a little, uh, two day affair and, and, you know, with, a foreigner and ha- have that be that. I don't know why that's so appealing to me. It just something about it is. So it just kind of, that kind of came, came up and I thought, you know what, I'll put that on the bucket list. That would be really fun to do. Plus the travel. I mean, I would obviously make a trip out of it. So that, you know, that would be just the actually like meeting up with somebody knowing I was going to have sex with them. That would be a bonus. Um, Oh, and then the last thing, and I don't know, did I mention this? I don't know. I need to put this again. It's another, uh, blog I need to write out, but I had an encounter with BE and I, yes, I did give a prostate orgasm that, so I wanted to put that on the list that I've been thinking I wanted to put that on the list, but I already did it. So I'm putting it on and scratching it off at the same time. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. I, I don't, yeah, a very, very, very hot. I mean, unbelievable. The, it's amazing to have, you know, well, first of all, uh, normally my idea was to give the prostate orgasm was to give, um, um, you know, the, just with fingers, you know, have your, do your fingers and, um, all that. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't give it away because I am going to blog about it. But um, I did. I used more than finger. <laughs> more than fingers caused this to happen. But it was so fascinating how, A, I, I mean, it really seemed like a very deep, 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 strong orgasm. And I wasn't even touching his cock. So that's... There you go on the list. Now it's crossed off, but I do want to keep doing it. I do want to keep working on it and perfecting it and getting better at it. So, you know, I did it once, but I definitely want to keep doing it and be able to add add that to my bag of tricks. I mean, oh my gosh, obviously very, very pleasurable for, you know, for the, for the guy. And I, you know, I, I, I would love to be able to rock somebody's world like that every time. I mean, <laughs> you know, I feel good. I'm like, wow, I did that. <laughs> so anyway, well, there you go. There's the sex, there's the updated, um, and current, uh, sex bucket list. And, uh, let's see what month are we in? I need to get moving here. Right. I've got like, so let's just say we're at end of, end of April here. We're almost into May, May, June, July, August, September. I mean, I've got no, oh, I don't even have September because it's September. For, oh, shit balls. I need to get going. I have got, to, <laughs> I better get off so I can, I can start working on this. Yeah. Four months. Holy cow. Well, I, I better get, I had better get my shit together here and start doing some of this stuff. All right. There you have it. Um, as usual, questions or comments. You can send them to Curious Girl at thecuriousgirldiaries.com.